This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story, a gripping true crime podcast that takes you deep into the chilling tale of allegations against Lucy Letby, a seemingly caring and dedicated nurse who harbored a dark secret. Join us as we unravel the twisted journey of a medical professional whose actions sent shockwaves throughout the healthcare community. It's the story of a nurse who went from saving lives to becoming the harbinger of death. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story. In a chilling account that has sent shockwaves through the nation, neonatal nurse Lucy Letby stands accused of the murder and attempted murder of multiple infants at the Countess of Chester Hospital's neonatal unit between June 2015 and June 2016. As prosecutor Nick Johnson KC unflinchingly presented to a riveted courtroom at the Manchester Crown Court, Letby is alleged to have returned from a vacation in Ibiza, a trip meant for relaxation, only to launch an unthinkable spree of violence against three babies over three consecutive days in June 2016. The 33-year-old nurse from Hereford, whose nurturing role was to safeguard the most vulnerable of lives, stands charged with seven counts of murder and ten of attempted murder. The most horrifying incident in her string of heinous acts involved the brutal murder of two triplet boys, named for the court's purposes as Baby O and Baby P, and the attempted murder of their surviving sibling, Baby Q. In presenting the chilling evidence, Johnson suggested a harrowing narrative of a nurse emboldened by the absence of early detection, going so far as to suggest that Letby, embroiled in her monstrous actions, felt as though she could do whatever she wanted. He detailed the particular case of Baby O, who was not just victim to an injection of lethal air intravenously and via a nasogastric tube, but also to a savage infliction of a liver injury caused by significant force. In this heart-wrenching narrative, the prosecutors painted a terrifying picture of a caregiver morphing into a taker of lives. As Johnson continued his closing speech, he highlighted how Letby was completely out of control, comparing her actions to a grim killing spree that seemed to commence after her return from her Ibiza vacation. The prosecutors pointed to uncanny similarities between the incidents involving Baby O and an alleged murder of Baby E, another boy from a set of twins who tragically bled profusely before succumbing. He argued that the tragic demise of these infants illustrated a chilling pattern of violence and calculation. In this narrative of horror, Johnson told the jury that Letby, seemingly immune to the human compassion expected of her profession, launched a renewed murder spree immediately following her return from her vacation. The subsequent days saw the murder of Baby O and Baby P and an attempted murder of Baby Q. Johnson presented a chilling recount of Letby's actions, describing how she maliciously falsified notes to cover her tracks. In his words, she was completely out of control, hell-bent on inflicting the same harm on Baby P as she did on his brother just the day before. A text message Letby sent to a friend after her Ibiza holiday and shortly after the birth of the triplets further bolstered the prosecutor's case. She wrote she was excited at the prospect of seeing them upon her return to the unit. Unfortunately, as Johnson noted, her excitement was allegedly for a sinister purpose, to take the lives of at least two of the three infants. Despite Letby's denial of these grave charges, the prosecutors remained resolute, arguing that she had essentially played God with the lives of these innocent babies. And in a grim turn of events, Baby P., who she was alleged to have cruelly set her sights on next, collapsed and died soon after a supposed manipulation of his breathing tube by Letby. Mr. Johnson argued that Letby attempted to make it appear as if there was a common issue leading to the deaths, and she even falsified nursing notes to resemble those made by a colleague. This was a calculated move that demonstrated the malevolent height of Letby's actions. As Johnson drew his closing speech to an end, he highlighted a chilling text let be sent to a friend that read, Worry is identical. This, he suggested, was an example of gaslighting at its worst, a prelude to her planned attack on baby P. In a narrative that continues to hold the nation captive, the prosecution alleges that let be caused baby P's heart to stop by pumping air into his system. Despite being revived by a doctor, 
the infant later collapsed twice more, resulting in a tragically perplexing series of events that raised alarm among the medical staff. Ultimately, in this harrowing account, the allegations leveled against Lucy Letby portray a deeply disturbing picture of a caretaker turned predator. Her trial serves as a stark reminder of the unimaginable horrors that can occur when those entrusted with the most vulnerable lives betray their duty. As the nation awaits the verdict, the memory of the innocent lives lost hangs heavily over the courtroom. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story, a gripping true crime podcast that takes you deep into the chilling tale of allegations against Lucy Letby, a seemingly caring and dedicated nurse who harbored a dark secret. Join us as we unravel the twisted journey of a medical professional whose actions sent shockwaves throughout the healthcare community. It's the story of a nurse who went from saving lives to becoming the harbinger of death. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story.